Local animal advocates are not pleased with the decision by the grand jury to no-bill two former employees of Amarillo Animal Control. I don't think they did their job properly. I think if they'd have spoken to the people with that had came out and blew the whistle and just watched the video I seen, it was very obvious them dogs were suffering. All these animals died and yet nothing's going to be done about it. There's no retaliation, no nothing. Uh, they're just getting to walk free with benefits. Judy Glidewell is the owner of Critter Camp, a pet services center in Amarillo. She says she is angry with the grand jury's decision. Then Mike McGee retired one week, Shannon Barlow retires the next week, and then the next day they no bill them. I mean, it's just, you know, it's kind of like it was all a, a deal under the table, you know, like, you know, you retire and we won't file charges. However, Randall County District Attorney James Farron says that was not the case and all sources were investigated for this case. The investigation was on charges of improper euthanasia practices and accusations of animal cruelty. The city responded to the grand jury's decision with a press release saying they appreciated everyone's patience and cooperation and that they would move forward with the search for a new animal control director and with making improvements on the shelter. The Amarillo Panhandle Humane Society works closely with animal control and even shares a facility. Their president, Carrie Baker, says she respects the grand jury's decision. Just because there were no criminal indictments handed down doesn't mean that there weren't maybe some mismanagement. I think my organization all along has been focused not so much on the criminal aspect of this. Our mission from the beginning was to see that animal control was managed better. Baker says the relationship between animal control and the Humane Society was strained before these issues became public, but she hopes going forward that will change. It, it has obviously created some strain between our organization and city officials, but I really hope that that's all behind us. Uh, and, and it really appears to me that it is. I think, I think the city has stepped up and, and is addressing the problems and is addressing the needs. Chelsea Goss, Pro News 7.